What's up guys, welcome back to another I Ate Like video. For this entire day I'm going to be eating like Jason Statham and that's going to involve me eating 2,550 calories total. This is the amount of calories Jason Statham would eat to kind of maintain his body weight while he's being active um, and keep that really fit tone structure. I got this calorie from a specific calorie counter we use for all our programs on the website so if you want to take part in it and use and find your specific calorie goal that you should be focusing on. You can check out the programs above. We could also help you out with your fitness programs. So without further ado, let's get into the food. Here we have a cup of strawberries, cut in half, pineapple, two ounces. I have some oats, half a cup with some almond milk, a little bit of granola. I put some cinnamon in there and other zero calorie seasonings like sweet and low. Um, then I have four egg whites and two large eggs. Jason Statham put this diet on um, online and quoted it was quoted, uh, and he quoted that he doesn't like eating egg whites. But what I have to say, Jason Statham, is that if you combine your egg whites with large regular eggs, whole eggs, and scramble them up, they'll just taste like scrambled eggs. So that's pro tip. So let's get into eating this. Here we go. All right, so here are the specific calories for the breakfast, uh, 575 calories total, a really high carb breakfast. Um, also tried to get in some protein with the eggs and the egg whites. Uh, and my granola that I use is actually a protein filled uh, granola, which is really delicious and uh, definitely great for oats. And it's definitely good for you. So really good, healthy breakfast. Um, Jason Statham talks a lot about having fruits, and if it's an apple, he'll eat it. If it's a banana, he'll eat it. Uh, and he doesn't really follow a really strict diet. But on this day, we're going to track calories to try to maintain his body weight, which is good uh, for trying to stay focused. And I recommend that if you're trying to lose weight or gain weight or maintain your weight uh, and slowly gain muscle or and lose fat at the same time, then you should uh, be on a program or a specific calorie amount that you're eating every single day. What's up guys and welcome to meal number two. We have some ground beef, 96% lean, which is the leanest I've ever seen. I have some spinach with a little bit of garlic mixed in um, and some fat-free mozzarella. Fat-free mozzarella has very low carbs, obviously no fat, and it's high in protein. So you could literally put it on anything that you would normally put cheese on. I also use Fat Free American in other videos. So those are great substitutes that are just easy and taste pretty much the same. But I also wanted to mention, I'm going to be drinking at least three liters of water. I'm already in uh, two and a half liters, I think. So if I finish this, I'm done, but I'm probably gonna end up drinking a whole gallon today. Just finished up some basketball, got some Gatorade Zero. Another pro tip, uh, zero calorie drinks, I'm a big fan of. I don't know if you guys are, but definitely give it a shot. All right, meal number two, let's dig in. So here are the calories for meal number two, 688 calories total. That's what eight ounces of ground beef which took, took up a lot and the rice, which took up a lot of calories as well. I also had a snack. Uh, it was like a quarter cup of walnuts, which ended up being like 200 calories, which is kind of a lot for this little bit of walnuts, but whatever. 5 grams of protein, 20 grams of healthy fats, uh, fatty omega-3s, which are really amazing for you. So definitely, if you're going to have some fat, uh, focus on those fatty omega-3s. You can get it in salmon, uh, nuts, not peanuts though. So stay away from peanuts um, and other fats, of course. Okay, guys, here is my second snack of the day. So I did two snacks in between my three meals. Uh, this was just a protein shake. I put a bunch of stuff in it. You'll see right here all the calories. Uh, gold standard whey, protein, unsweetened almond milk, bananas, oats, and peanut butter. So a lot, a lot of calories in this shake. But it's better to have these calories and these carbs uh, Jason Statham would say before dinner time, so he prefers having them around lunchtime um, instead of late at night. Welcome to meal number three, the very last meal. So I cooked the family up some bacon wrapped filet mignons. Uh, they were actually pretty inexpensive, so I decided to get them. Also had some spinach and garlic, as you see here, 572 calories. 
I used a tablespoon of olive oil, a little over a tablespoon actually, for each steak to cook them in and really get that crispy outside edge on them. Since Jason Statham prefers not to have any carbs for this meal and just focus on veggie and a fatty meat, uh, that is what I did. I got bacon wrap fillets and I got some spinach. So definitely a great way to end the day. Uh, I usually don't focus on not eating carbs at the end of the day, but it did feel great. And um, I don't do it every day, like I said, but if you guys want to try it, see, maybe do it for a week, do it not for a week, see how it affects you personally. Personally, I don't think it affects me any different than if I was to have some rice with this meal, but give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Uh, hey guys, I love pepperoni, and if you subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and check out the links below, I'll get to eat more pepperoni, like, because I'm a puppy, and I love, <laughs> and I love, I love pepperoni, please, please, get me more pepperoni, I just made it, oh yes, pepperoni's so good, please subscribe and like,